you through uh, the first period you, um, with the penalties. You got through with a good penalty kill. You got through. You gave up two goals. What got you through it, and then on to the end of it? Perseverance. I mean, the two goals that went in went off our guys. So. Uh, that's a tough go. One I think went off two guys, and then the next one went off Paterka in. Um, but I thought the guys dealt with that very well uh, from a psychological standpoint, and came out uh, the second with uh, you know the determination to to elevate, and they did. Did you think that they took, a, I guess, a simple approach to get back into the game and not trying to force things and to just chip pucks deep and, and just try to create off of that? Willing to, to grind a bit, uh, willing to hit the repeat button on it. Uh, I thought Thompson obviously scored, but he led the way. He was solid even in the first period. Uh, less frustration, um, you know, even in the first uh, when pucks went in off of us, um, which is a tough, you know, it's that's a it's something you got to deal with, and and um, like the way our guys deal with it, obviously, and yeah. Devin's in a tough spot, not knowing. Yeah, he he uh, he was very good, um, very dialed in. Again, in the situation of two, the first two goals went off. You know, the the second one was probably going to go wide. It went off the shaft of uh, Paterka sticking in, um, and the first one that went off Dalene as well. But I think it went off two guys. Um, so again, psychologically, for him to just just let that go um, is significant. Significant and obviously, um, you know, his performance after was um, was excellent. What about the, third, the first periods? But what's made you guys a strong third period team? I guess. I mean, tonight it was it was will and drive. Um, I'll, I'll speak for that, and I'll stick with just stay with tonight. Really, you know, the drive and determination was there. Did that come from wanting to not have a repeat of Wednesday night? Well, I, I, absolutely, no one wants a repeat of Wednesday night. Um, but you know, we obviously had much better energy and, and uh, pushed. And you know, when you you do some things consistently through games, there's some wear on the other team. And uh, you know, I think uh, back to what Bill said. I think that's when you wear on another team, you're going to have a better third period. You know, you laid some groundwork that uh, that might not pay off till the third. And you know, that's it's uh, a part of the process. You have nights like Wednesday where. Tage used the word compound. Things can compound it. It's hard to come back from that. Where you have nights like tonight where it seemed they were quick to get over and resolve issues in their game. When you're on the bench, what are the first signs to you as a coach when you're watching them that they're having a night like tonight? You could see the energy level different, the confidence. And it comes across in chatter right away. You know, um, there were the, the, the talk and the communication, um, body language tells you a lot. And it's, it's not hard to see. What does it do for the team when Tage is going like he was tonight? Quite a bit, quite a bit. I mean, it's a, it's a handful when you're the opposition and, and he's going like that. So it's a, it's a big one. It was just a huge lift. I mean, the five on three. I don't believe he gave up a shot, and just the penalty kill itself to kill those penalties off early in the game. How big was that for you? Yeah, uh, very big, and, and very big in the situation of already giving up two at that point. That, that was crucial, crucial. Um, and uh, guys rose. And they rose and they, they, they performed with confidence and very uh, assertive still um, and decisive. What do you think about the shift before the third goal that kind of it seemed like it got the building energized and it certainly wore the Devils down before that third goal? Oh, geez, Matt, I don't think I can recall that exact shift, but. Uh, um, but there, there were several good pushes we had in, in, in segments, and you know, five on five. I thought we were, uh, you know, we we got better as the game went, is what I felt. Uh, you know, I know we gave up the early goals, but there were some things that we got better at. Uh, you know, f so I, I can't recall the shift. Did not have a power play tonight. Nothing's discouraging when you win. Um, you know, I think winning, winning, and I would say, you know, everybody feeling good after the game. Not, not, no injuries are the, the two big ones, and nothing better than that. Seems like the offense picked up with the top line there. What has JJ brought to that line that's given it a different look? 
It has since he's been on it. Um, there's no question, and he's brought uh, a lot of hockey sense. I, I mentioned the other day he's built he's he's built a stronger foundation underneath him. Um, you know, even the empty net goal positionally, defensively, these are things he he was. You know, his game has had to evolve a lot defensively, in, in from the standpoint of putting himself in positions to defend and get pucks back faster. So he's on more offense, and uh, he's done a nice job in really paying attention to those details, evolving his game to the point where we're comfortable putting him with guys like that that demand that. You know, your your better players don't want a guy that's that's going to get him a minus. Uh, so they have to be responsible in this league, um, and and he's got the confidence of his two line mates, and that helps as well.